Hello! Welcome back to Spiritual Essence. In this video, I will be teaching you another form of manifestation, but this time in the form of Yu-Gi-Oh cards, or card in this instance. Um, now, I understand that not everyone is into Yu-Gi-Oh, but if you have, like, Pokemon, or um, Magic the Gathering, or any other kind of playing card that has real figures in it, um, action figures and heroes and villains, things like that. You can utilize it the same way. I have Yu-Gi-Oh cards, so I'm going to utilize that first. So, uh, I know what you might be thinking. How do Yu-Gi-Oh cards factor into this spiritual exercise? I will show you. So, materialization. The spirit world is full of manifestation and materialization. Uh, thought forms that appear in your mind will appear before you in the spirit realm. Oftentimes, uh, the mental body or the spirit body can see these things through the mind's eye or the third eye. So when you picture something in your head, that is a form of manifestation that you are creating, some kind of imagery. And usually, if you were to say, uh, have the image of a parent in your head. You can make them talk and say anything you want. You can get them to move funny, you know, because it's all in your head and you're the boss. You can take control of whoever or whatever you create. Well, we are going to do the same thing, but we are going to bring these manifestations out into the reality and actually bring it some uh, some form of energy that it can utilize to become a real thing. Uh, these things are called, um, I believe they're called tulpas. <clears throat> and what they are, they are energies that a person usually creates consciously uh, to do one's bidding, basically. But that's not all they can be used for. They're like the opposite of uh, poltergeists, which are usually created unconsciously by uh, built-up negative energy within a person who has psychokinetic abilities. We are going to use our psychokinetic abilities to create something else. Here I have Hero's Shadow Scout. Very formidable looking creature. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a good look at this card, try to get the image down, and then I will lay it before me. <clears throat> I will put my hand over the card, and I will recite uh, an incantation of my own choosing. Belie I'm just making this up, but as long as I put feeling and energy into it, it will work. Hero Shadow Scout, I hereby awaken you from your card prison. Please appear before me now. Hero Shadow Scout, I hereby release you from your card prison. Please come forth before me now. Hero Shadow Scout, I release you from your card prison. Please appear and manifest before me now. This was merely just to energize the card, to give it something to work with. So now you're going to close your eyes. Take the card of your choosing in hand. You're kind of going to do a light meditation, so do a couple deep breaths. Okay. Now, hold the card out before you. Now picture from within the card a light. This is going to be a beautiful shimmering light. It's going to come out from the face of the card that has the picture on it. Now this light is going to get bigger and bigger. And as it's getting bigger, you will be able to feel the energy coming off it. It's going to be radiating this energy. And it's going to be a positive, powerful energy. 
Now, slowly picture the uh, character on the card slowly coming out of the card, being released from its prison. Spend time doing that, giving it energy, and then once it's fully out, picture it in full detail in your mind's eye. Now, make it do something. Perhaps if you want it as like a spiritual servant, have it bow to you. Have it uh, maybe salute you. You know, some form of allegiance to you. Now, keep in mind that the these guardians or tulpas are not our slaves. You can use them to help you in many ways. However... Eventually, as you keep giving them energy, they will have a mind of their own. And if you're treating them bad, it's going to get bad for you. So keep that in mind if you have a little power trip going from this. True, these things can be used for a very negative use. Many negative uses. Very monofarious purposes. But keep in mind that negative energy is like a magnet to other negative energy. You could be drawing all kinds of demonic and evil spirits to you at the same time, and not to mention, as this thing becomes corrupted by negative energy, it can become something just as bad as those types of energies and make things very bad for you and anybody who may live with you. So do, do keep that in mind. Try to uh, make this positive. If you want it to fight, good. Just, I don't know, try to make it fight for, you know, decent purposes. Justice, not evil. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I am going to have it cross its arms and lift its head up to me. Now, obviously, when you just are first creating this creature and bringing it outward, it's going to have very little energy. It's not going to be able to do much. So all you have to do is maintain it in its in uh, in your mind's eye, and this will constantly be like a, a smaller energy feed. Now, the more you have it do, the more energy that it will take to do it. So for the sake of argument, uh, just have it walk from one end of the room to the other. and then back. All right. Now, um, if you think it can fly, have it fly. And even, you know, have it fly from one end of the room to the other. Huh, now it's behind me. It's, it's now directly right behind me. Wow. I wasn't expecting that. Uh, I was having it move from here to here, but on its own, it moved from here to here and then moved right behind me and stood there. And then only when I told it to go back to behind the camera... It did. And I could feel its energy right behind me. And Oh, it's back. I feel kind of like... Um, it's kind of like a light, cold chill, but also like a staticky feeling. Like the hair is standing up on the back of my neck. I can I can definitely feel it. it it's very interested behind me for some reason. Alright, for the sake of argument, I'm going to call it back into the card. Alright, Hero Shadow Scout, I command you to re-enter your card, and I will see you next time. Alright, I no longer feel it behind me. It's now back in its card. 
Uh, this is also, a, it's this lesson is kind of like a form of enchanting and manifestation at the same time. Because you're manifesting an imagery of a creature, a mythical creature, uh, and also you are enchanting the card that it comes with because you're summoning the creature that you have just energized now back into the card. So... I'm going to keep this on hand somewhere safe away from my other uh, Yu-Gi-Oh cards that I have not used for such purposes yet uh, because these are just regular old cards. I, I try to feel them with my energy. There's no vibration at all. But if I do it with this card, there is something. It's almost like if you were to wave your hand over a blanket fresh from the dryer and it's so much static, it can, you can feel the static move as you move your hand over it. It's kind of like that. So, I'm going to put these away. But I'm going to stick this uh, right here in the cabinet. <clears throat> because I now have a good use for it now. A spiritual use. And I want to keep that away from the others. Until I can at least get around to enchanting them now i won't do it with all of them that that is way too much to do and i've already tried i've started creating my own cards uh through photoshop so uh i'm working on those um i'll i'll get those to you guys uh, i'll show you what i've come up with uh in another video uh but that is basically a form of conjuring manifesting and enchanting all at once it's a triple purpose and it is so useful especially for people who don't really consider themselves creatively inclined uh, some people have a real knack for like drawing pictures but I uh, you know, I do, but someone else might not. So, what do I do? So, uh, some people, you know, just draw what they can, and that's fine. As long as you put the energy to it, that is fine. Uh, but sometimes people need a little help. They, like, they can't think of what to draw. And this doesn't, it doesn't matter if uh, the drawing isn't, you know, super professional. It's only for you. And if you need a little help, there's always conduits, like all kinds of trading cards out there. Try to find one you like. It doesn't have to be Yu-Gi-Oh. It could be anything else, any kind of trading card, as long as it's a, an imagery of some sort uh, that you can utilize this technique for. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, feel free to subscribe and hit the bell button so you don't miss any of my future uploads. And uh, if you have any comments, questions, or concerns, put them down below, and I will answer back. I'm here to help you. All right, guys. Um, thank you so much, and have a blessed spiritual path.